we forget keeping the track of right syllabus and right things to study i should just at least get 90 95 something of those type of marks then again this video is very important for you because what all should you study at this point of time because hello dear students how are you all 12th boards are going on right now and if you are in class 12th this is something which which might feel like a lifetime thing or as it is written a lifetime statement because yes class 12th boards results are going to stay with you for the lifetime everywhere you go be an interview any 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 abroad job or anything you will keep this class 12 mark sheet with you so this is an important thing and i am here to talk about this only now 12th in 12th board chemistry is on 27th and on 8th of march we'll have our math exam before going to our maths maths exam i want to tell you a few important things which you have to know which you need to know before starting to prepare for your math exam because you know while preparing for competitive examinations like je mains advanced nda or any other we forget keeping the track of right syllabus and right things to study so yes i am sure that you will be aspiring for 100 marks in your math exam also so because obviously class 12th is a lifetime statement as i told you for everybody so 100 marks is something which will be which will feel like worthy or you know which will feel like keeping as a milestone in our life so how to score 100 marks first of all that's the thing first of all you need to know the pattern i hope everybody knows the pattern of math exam you are going to have 80 marks of exam and 20 marks practical will be there which you easily get total 38 questions you are going to get in your math exam uh, 20 questions will be of mcq type in this two questions will be of assertion and reason type maximum two to three questions will be of assertion and reason type then five questions of two marks right in these you might have a choice two to three choices in in two to three questions you might have a choice same with uh, six questions which are of three marks then there are going to be four questions of five marks so this is section a this is section b this is section c this is section d and this is section e right d and e are jumbled up so if uh, and these three questions which are going to be of four marks these will be case based or some passage based scenario based or you know some uh, type of real situation and on the basis of that they'll ask you questions these will have three parts right these will have three to four parts actually three to four parts will be there and in the parts also you might get choices in your section e where there'll be three questions of four marks case based types so this is going to be the pattern you should be well aware of it now how much should i study for scoring 100 marks in math exam that is the question if you are aspiring for 100 then this video is important for you if you are if you are thinking that i might i should just at least get 90 95 something of those type of marks then again this video is very important for you because what all should you study at this point of time because you have you might be preparing for other examinations competitive examinations and all so right now it's very important for you to know that how much should i study so first of all ncert syllabus wise you'll have to study syllabus wise completely syllabus wise you'll have to study your ncert book which you you might be having two books part 1 part 2 if you have new ncert then almost uh, uh, it will be according to the syllabus and some things are there which is which are not in the new ncert also that also i'm going to tell you in this video only so ncert syllabus wise in ncert also all examples and all the exercises all the exercises including miscellaneous also miscellaneous exercises also i'm telling you except the excluded exercises you don't need to do the excluded exercises according to the syllabus i'll tell you which exercises are excluded from the syllabus over here so stay to the video till the end so that you get to know everything you need to know before this exam ncert examples and exercises are enough this much is enough all the examples all the exercises if you are doing com uh, completing then that this much is enough for your preparation along with this some solving of previous year papers pyps means previous year papers with within time with time bound uh, solving if you do of previous year papers you'll be 
completely prepared for 100 marks. This much you have to do from 28th to 7th of March. Till that time you have your exam on 8th March, you have enough time to aim for 100 marks right now. Only this much you need to know, do. Now, in the syllabus, we have relation and functions, which will be of 8 marks. Then algebra will be of 10 marks, which includes uh, your matrices and determinants. Calculus includes continuity, differentiability, integral calculus, application of uh, uh, derivative, uh, application of integer, integers. All this is going to consist of 35 marks. Vectors and three-dimensional geometry will be of 14 marks. Linear programming, 5 marks and probability, 8 marks. So total, you have 80 marks of exam out of these topics which you have been preparing throughout the year but now at the last moment to secure 100 marks what all you need to do stick to the syllabus the most important thing over here is going to be stick to the syllabus what only do only that much which is required right so from relations and functions you don't need to do 1.3 1.4 and some of the books old books might be having 1.5 also so you don't need to do that you just need to do the types of relations uh, the uh, symmetric uh, reflexive equivalence all these types and in the second exercise one to one and on to functions only only this much you need to do in relations and functions then second chapters come second chapter comes as inverse trigonometric function here also you don't need to do 2.2 in 2.2 you can do the basic ones like tan inverse tan tan x and the, uh, you know principal values and all these things a little uh, first second uh, starting two three questions that much is enough rest you don't need to do an entire 2.2 exercise in trigonometric inverse trigonometric function itf which is the chapter 2 of class 12 then you have in algebra you'll have matrices and matrices in matrices you don't need to do 3.4 the 3.4 exercises excluded from the syllabus Entire matrices chapter is there. Entire matrices chapter is there. Determinants is there. But 3.4 exercise is not there in your matrices. And 4.2 is not there in determinants also. 4.2 is not there in determinants. You don't need to do 4.2. Now from calculus, if we come in calculus, fifth chapter comes out to be as continuity and differentiability. From here, you don't need to do 5.8. 5.8 is excluded from here. Then in the sixth chapter, you don't have in applications of derivatives, you only have till simple problems, right? Simple problems, maxima, minima, uh, geometrically defining them, provable tools and all. Uh, after that, you don't have. So that means you don't have 6.3 and 6.4 are not there in your syllabus from the sixth chapter, which is applications of derivatives. Now from the seventh chapter, which is integrals, Specially do all these integrals x square plus minus a square square root of x square plus minus a square square root of a square minus x square all these types which are mentioned here these must be done for sure these integral types must be done any question can come from these types other than other than that standard integrals basic problems will be there fundamental theorem of calculus till there we have in our uh, chapter number seven. And in 7 also, 7.8 is excluded. The last exercise, I think, is excluded from your syllabus. And in the 8th chapter, which is application of integrals, 8.2 is excluded from the syllabus because it's written over here only simple curves, like especially line circles like that. But 8.2 is about area between two curves. But if we observe the pattern of sample papers, some questions in the sample papers or some uh, previous year questions also we see, area between the two curves can be asked. So I would say that 8.2, do, don't avoid, try if you can do this much also. This is also very easy, area between the two curves, upper minus lower, that only you have to apply. So 8.2, also you must do. Now from differential equations. The uh, chapter number 9, we are not supposed to do over here 9.3. 9.3 is excluded. That one you don't have to do. You only have to do till solutions of linear differential equation. The uh, labyrinth rule and uh, the other rules which uh, are not included in uh, the chapter number 9. Okay. Uh, vectors and three dimensional which is unit number 4. Now, vectors and 3D from vectors and 3D, you are not supposed to do 11.3, right? Vector complete, you have to do 11.3 is from three-dimensional geometry, which is our 
planes planes are excluded completely excluded you only have to do three dimensional geometry of lines till lines only you have to do angle between two lines perpendicular and all you have to complete 11.3 you are not supposed to solve or do anything about it or anything related to that in linear programming in linear programming we are not supposed to do 12.2 12.2 is excluded only till feasible and infeasible regions we are supposed to do in the second exercise some more is uh, more is there uh, between the lines and all uh, 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 maxima minima and all those things are also there in the second exercise which is excluded right now from the syllabus in probability we are not supposed to do 13.3 13.3 we are not uh, sorry not sorry not 13.3 it will be 13.5 we are not supposed to do 13.5 in probability right which would be last exercise because only till random variable and probability distribution mean of random variable only this is included standard deviation and variance is not included right in the syllabus so we don't need to do 13.5 so this much you need to know about your syllabus. Uh, don't do these exercises. Don't do the questions which are related to these exercises. Only do which, which is required right now and do it very well so that you can secure 100 marks. Be beyond this, solve some previous year papers with time and sample papers of 24-25 with time, within time before, uh, you know, 7th or 6th, if you can. Now, for your help on this channel, we are going to help you with your preparations of chemistry and math. We could not do it with physics because of some situations, but we'll do it with chemistry and math. For chemistry, today there is a session scheduled where Sanjay sir is going to take really good and important and expected questions which can come in your chemistry exam on 27th. And then for math, we are going to do full preparations from 28th to 7th of our uh, March. So pl please stay tuned with the channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe it, like the video and all the best for your exam. We'll do as much as we can. Thank you.